Sorry to be so assertive. Uh, we do have to leave, actually. We live two hours away. And um, I have to ask my question. So that I know that I understood you um, properly. I don't want to leave here with you know some kind of misunderstanding. Uh, you mentioned um, in your talk that there are 18 uh, prophet mentioned in the Quran. I want to make sure you said the Prophet Muhammad is not mentioned in the Quran. Or, uh, a messenger. Uh huh. He's mentioned as a messenger. Muhammad mm -hmm. Rasulullah in Arabic. Rasulullah. But when okay, the four um, um, uh, four surah. He's mentioned in four different, uh, actually five, because one time he's mentioned as an Ahmad. Yeah, so, four, that, that, that five times he's mentioned. No, well, excuse me, let me clarify this. But I was talking about 18 prophets. I said these are the 18 prophets to whom Allah gave the book and the Hukum and Nabuwa, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Muhammad Rasulullah is mentioned in the Quran as Muhammad Rasulullah. Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahdim mi rijalikum walakir Rasulullah wa khataman nabiyin. He is mentioned as Muhammad, Messenger of Allah, and the seal of the prophets. So I was referring that prophets. So what? What? I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of difference between the messengers and the prophet. Yeah, there is difference. Be I can tell you because they did the same. They did the same. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not a scholar. No, of no, course, I'm not yeah, here yeah, to yeah. debate. I understand. Uh, but I would say that then, uh, almost. 56 times the prophets, the word prophet is mentioned, and 47 times the word messenger is mentioned. Yeah. So how do we know that who is Allah referring to when there is no name after that? Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's very nice question. Uh, wherever, wherever Muhammad Rasulullah is mentioned in the Quran, there are five verses. Four you already mentioned, four you mentioned, I will read for you. That's the first in Surah Al-Imran 3, 144. So there is this, Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul. Muhammad is no more than a messenger of Allah, messenger, and many messenger pass by. That's the first verse. And then there is another verse, Azab 33, 48. Ma kana Muhammadun aba adim bi rajalikum walakir Rasulullah wa khataman nabin. Okay? Then Surah Muhammad, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَآمَنُوا بِمَا نُزِّلَ عَلَى Muhammad. Can you open this? Yeah, I just have the translation. The this one, in Surah Muhammad you're talking about. Yeah, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا second ayat. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَآمِنُوا بِمَا نُزِّلَ عَلَى Muhammad. But those who believe and work, de work deeds of righteousness and believe in the revelation sent down to yeah. For, so the revelation the, is the Quran. I no, no, no. Hold on. Revelation is not Quran. Revelation is revelation. Revelation means revelation. I mean wahi. No, wahi means inspiration. No. You said uh, no, yes, no. It is, <laughs> inspirations al ham. Wahi is a revelation. Yeah, now I will explain to you. Yeah. In Arabic word, wahi means inspiration, and nazil means revelation or sent down. You just listen to me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Uh, you can you can uh, discuss you can discuss okay. but let me you, let me let, let me tell you something there are many number really of, number of times the word nazil has come in the quran and wahi is only came with the messengers and prophets and mm -hmm. jesus uh, havarin not to any individual wahi when i say wahi word inspiration but nazil has come with Hulu amanna billahi. Listen to me. Listen to me, please. Hulu amanna billahi. Wa ma unzila ilayna. Wa ma unzila ila Ibrahima wa Ismaila wa Ishaq wa Yaqub wa Lasbat. Wa ma utiya Musa wa Isa. Wa ma utiya Nabiyuna min Rabbim. La nufarriku bayna ahadim minhum. Wa nahnu lahu muslimun. When I say wa nahnu lahu muslimin, so hulu amanna billahi wa ma unzila ilayna. So say what is revealed on us. What is revealed towards Ibrahim, Ismail, Isaac, Yaqub, and we do not make distinction, and we are Muslims. So revelation, nazil is revelation. Anywhere the word nazil, nuzila, anzala, nuzila is revelation or sundown. Two meanings. 
बट वही इज ऑलवेज विद द प्रॉफिट उतलू मा ओहियाई का मिनल किताब यू नो वही डज नॉट कम विद एवरी ह्यूमन बींग इट कम्स विद द प्रॉफिट और विद द हवारीन और अल्लाह वही इंस्पायर्ड द बी इंस्पायर्ड द बी द बी टू डू द वर्क और ही इंस्पायर्ड द मदर ऑफ मोजिस We, we are talk, now. I'm talking revelation wahi. Now you want to know about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No, that's why I'm saying. Yeah, I will tell you. Did he get the wahi? Did Muhammad got the wahi? No, Muhammad got the revelation from the book. Mm-hmm. Same book. Yeah. I will. Thirty-two surah. Thirty-two. Thirty-two surah and twenty-three ayat. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابِ and without doubt we gave Moses the book. فَلَا تَكُمْ فِي مِرْيَةٍ مِنْ لِقَاهِ so you do not be in doubt of its receiving it to you. وَجَعَلْنَا هُو and we made it a guidance to the children of Israel. so the book was given to all the prophets. now book is given to him. got the book so what's the problem i at that time i was telling you at that 18 names are mentioned and idris is i asked another name is also mentioned book is given i'm not denying that book was not given i was saying the messenger the prophet look angels are messengers rule amin is messenger but he, he cannot be a prophet angel no angel is a prophet and no rule rule qudus rule amin can be an angel, a, a, a prophet Prophet are always human beings, but messengers can be angels. Messengers can be Rul Amin, Rul Qudus, Jibril, and messengers can be uh, 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 human being. But prophet is always a human being, so there is a distinction because messenger angels comes and give good news to Mary. Prophet, there are not prophets mentioned come and good news to give to Mary nowhere. So I am telling you the difference is the messengers. comes uh, angels are messengers and uh, rule amin jibril is the messenger but they are not prophets prophet when you atiullah wa atiur rasul then you give the uh, when you follow allah in his messenger you are improvised or get the uh, uh, status of a nabi you follow what i'm saying and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the seal of the prophets Ibrahim al Islam is a nabi. So, yeah. He is not a prophet, but he is the seal of. Him. Yes. So uh, that's really confusing. Uh, why is the seal of prophet? Is why is confusing. No, if you he's see, not if you a prophet, then if, how is the seal of prophet? That's because he's a messenger. Now, if you follow the messenger, I can refer to that as so where it says, whoever follows the messenger, Allah and messenger, he will get the uh, blessing of a prophet or blessing blessing of a siddiq. So is there a rank system then that the prophet is higher than the messenger or messenger, messenger is higher? Higher than the prophet. Messenger is a higher. So uh, because uh, angels come and and give you the the uh, yeah. yeah the yeah, message. I got that part. And Rul Amin give the message, but but they do not worship. They do not do act. Mm-hmm. Prophets have to act upon it. Oh prophet, why do you make it unlawful when it is lawful to please your wife? Messenger do not do mistakes. They are confirm what they say, and the messenger is saying to the prophet. This message is delivered to prophet by the messenger. Oh prophet, why are you making lawful, unlawful to which Allah has made lawful? Is the messenger telling the prophet? Human man, prophet is a, always a human being. You follow what I'm saying? Muhammad Rasulullah is the seal of the prophets. If Ghulam Ahmad claimed to be a prophet. Muhammad Rasulullah does not have a seal on him. If Buddha is a prophet, that people say Muhammad does not, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam does not have a seal on Buddha. So any messenger that is mentioned in this book, yeah. Muhammad Rasulullah is a seal on that prophet. So you cannot say anything about any prophet that he is also prophet. He is also prophet because Muhammad Rasulullah Allah gave the status to him. He is the seal of the prophet. Without the confirmation or the seal of the messenger Muhammad, no one is a prophet. No one can be a prophet. that is the honor given to a messenger muhammad rasulullah that is why we say muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and for other we say alayhi assalam salam alaik
Okay, so it's just the terminology then. There's really, I mean, I still don't, I have a hard time understanding because you have this term, you have this word that you use in English, prophet. That I have just told you, so Nabi, Nabi means prophet. Yeah. Huh? No, no, no. In Arabic, Nabi means prophet. It doesn't mean messenger. Rasul means messenger. I'm not destroyed. I'm giving you the correct translation. Okay, thank you. No, really. I'm yeah, <laughs> Muhammad Rasulullah that. means... Look, where I say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, right? Yeah. Do you say, La ilaha Muhammad Nabiullah? Mm -hmm. No. Why not? Say? Why don't you say? Why people don't say the world? Because it's more general. Term. Because it is... Because he is not. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Otherwise, we would have been saying Muhammad Nabiullah. But he was also Nabi because obviously he got the Nabuwa, so he would consider a Nabi too. There's a, there, you, you, your question was there are 47 times Nabi is mentioned yeah. without a name. Yeah, without a name. Okay. And there is Rasul mentioned without a name. Yeah. But Muhammad Sallallahu is mentioned four times, by, uh, two times, named four times, four times but, but two, time. two times as Rasul. Four times as Muhammad name is mentioned, yeah. but Rasul is two times. Mm -hmm. Like Muhammad Rasulullah wa ladina ma wa shiddal kufar rahma by name. Yeah. Here is mentioned Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. He is strong on the believers and, and merciful to each other. So here is mentioned a messenger. Ma kana Muhammadun abadim mir jalikum wa laki Rasulullah wa khatam nabi is mentioned as a messenger and the seal of the prophets. These two ayahs described him as a messenger. Okay? But Muhammad is mentioned, amanu wa aminu salihat wa amanu bima nuzil ala Muhammad. So we have to believe what is revealed on Muhammad. And that is the haq, that is the truth. We have to believe. And that's the Quran. I, no. When you say Quran, I explained to you, Quran is reading. Mm -hmm. Kitab is book. Mm -hmm. I just now showed you that Moses' book was given to him, that book. And if you read, it is Quran. Or, or if you want to, sh I will show you again. You see the Quran and book difference. Okay? Muhammad Rasulullah got the Quran. I am just trying to show you now. Okay? Listen. Can you open 46 Surah Aqaf and 29 Ayat? Have you opened, please? Yeah. Now, listen very carefully what happened. Why is the Sarafna Ilaika? Nafram min al jinni yastami on al Quran. Falamma haduru, kalu an situ, falamma kudia, wallahu ila komi mundirin. We behold, we turn towards the company of jinns, listening to the Quran. In the Arabic, you see the Quran. They are listening to the Quran, the reading. When they stood in the presence thereof, they said, listen to in silence. When they, when the reading was finished, they, reading, look, he said, reading was finished, they returned to their people to warn. And look what they said. They were listening to, excuse me, what they were listening to? Book. No? They were listening to Quran. You see, this is how, how people, you know, they must be very careful. I read there before, Why is sarrafna ilayka nafram min al-jinni yas tamin al-Qur'an? Look at the Arabic. Don't look at the translation. Look at the Arabic. Yas tamin al-Qur'an. Falamma haduruhu qalu an situ falamma qudiyya wallahu ila qawmi mundi. Here they say Qur'an and they say listen quietly. And when they return to their own people, qalu ya qawmuna inna sami'na kitaban. The book was there. Excuse me. The book is there. Mm -hmm. I was reading and this reading was Quran. Right now, I was reading Quran, reading, reading. And they went to the people and they say, We have heard a kitab. Unzila mm mimbaadi -hmm. Musa. Revealed after Moses' book. After Moses. The, Moses was given the book. Listen to me, look. I will explain to you. Moses got this book. And reveal Quran on him. He read. As if today you see, the book was there. I was reading from here. 
and they did listen to the Quran, but when they went there, they said, we listened to what was written, because you are all having this in front of you. So you are confirming from here. So they said to their own people, we listened to the reading, uh, revealed after Moses. Unzila Mimbadi Musa. Okay? Now we see two, three more. Two, actually, there are two books in a way. One is book in front of you, right? It is, this is in the same surah you look. In the same surah you look. Ayat number is 12. In the same surah. 46.12. Okay. Wamin Kabli Kitab Musa Imam Warahma. From before this book is the book of Moses. Listen, look at me. This book is the book of Moses from before. Wahada Kitab Musaddiqul Lisan Arabia. This book confirms the Arabic language. Liundira Ladina Dalamu Bushran in Morsinin. Apparently, it seems to us two books. The book here in front of you and the book Imam Abraham, this book, what is Imam means in front or leader. The book of Moses is a leader Imam. And, and this, what I read, this is confirming the Arabic language. I'm reading from the Arabic language. This, I'm reading in Arabic and translating, right? So, Wahada Kitabun, another book, confirm, confirming Musaddiqul Lisanan Arabia, confirming Arabic language. So this is a this book confirms the Arabic language. Now again two books. Now if you open this uh, 2848, then again you see two books. I'm sorry, brother. I have a previous engagement. I'm not trying to oh, okay, cut okay. you short, but um, but I just have one one question before. Okay, I go. please. Please use the mic. My name is Tarek, by the way. Salam alaikum, and thanks for your one lecture time. too. I'm just have one point. Um, what is the what is the what is the overall point to this? I mean, how is it going? This discussion. I mean, you brought up a lot of really good facts in some areas, but how is it supposed to make me a better person, um, just as a, or a better Muslim? You know, that's you see, my the problem point. is when you read the Quran. Yeah. Uh, generally speaking, okay. When you read the Bani Israel, you say Jews and Christian. When you read the Al Kitab, you say Jews and Christian. Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> So I, if, I you, really, if you want I, to be a better I, Muslim, I, you should, no, no, hold on. It's an if important you want to be point. Better, I just uh, I want to know how it helps me. That's as a what person. I'm saying. That yeah. until only you understand, as the books tells you, yeah. that the Torah is given to Moses. The, the, you know, Moses' name is mentioned 136 times. Just give me one minute. 136 times, and the Torah is mentioned. But what does that mean to me exactly? I'm telling you, no, you just yeah. listen. And 18 times, Torah is mentioned, and yeah. Allah says to Moses, Allah says, "Waida peina Musa al-Kitab." Well, Furqan la'allakum ta'adadun. La'allakum ta'adadun means we gave Moses the book and the, the criteria for Khan so that you may be guided. Now you are saying, you know, I mean, not you, the whole world is saying that Moses got the Torah. So the book doesn't say Torah. Yeah. On the contrary, it says Moses got the book, Moses got the Furqan, Moses got the Alva, Moses got the Sohof. So many things Moses got, you don't know. I mean, you means the Muslim world. And they're saying what the Jews are saying, or the Christians are saying, the Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, the number of Deuteronomy is the Torah. So they are saying, they are referring to that. So when you read the Bani Sai, you refer there. When you read the Al Kitab, you refer that. You don't, you don't know anything. You mean the Muslim world. Yeah. I'm talking to Muslims. I'm not talking to Jews and Christians. I'm talking to Muslims. So everything is for them. They are the chosen people, the Jews and Christians, the Bani Sai. They are not the chosen people. The Jews don't have nothing. So I'm trying to point out to the Muslim world, Brother, you read something here, you don't understand what is in front of you. Well, no. even if I was an Arabic speaker and understood the Arabic language so, and was able to read, there's still like 100 words for the word daraba, which, which is a very controversial phrase yeah, in Surah Tanisa, yadrabahuna, yeah. you know, strike her, as that's translated. Yeah. Yeah. So there's 100 definitions that could possibly be. That could be shun her, yeah, yeah. divorce her, yeah. shake hands. Yeah, I know. Um, but that's the, that's the but definition how do you know, left how do, you, how do we I know what is the correct one? I don't, and that's will, my point. Tell, no, I will tell you. <laughs> the Quran says, it says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَّبَّرُونَ الْقُرَانِ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ If it is not from Allah, you will find many contradictions. If Dharaba is translated many times, number of times in the Quran, the book that I have, I know Dharaba means many synonymous words are used in the book. 
So if uh, if you, somebody is trying to fool around where the wife is mentioned and Daraba you try, you give me, challenge you, anybody give me other than strike in that and make a sentence, make a sense. Mm -hmm. I mean divorce or shun could also no, be no, a the word Divorce is talaq. Yeah. The, the word is there now. But it also, Daraba also does mean divorce or shun or turn no, away cannot. from. No, 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 just a minute. Show me in the Quran where. This is, this is translation no, that, and this no, takes no. knowledge. This no, no, takes what hadith and tafsir. No. Show me in which dictionary Darabi means talaq. The uh, Hans where, Hans where Daraba means uh, talak. It means it means shun. It means turn okay, away. Okay, you know and that's talaq. all I have. I'm an no, English but speaker. But you know, divorce no. is a subject. A Quran surah is by talak. Yeah. So you have to use your mind also. No? There is a word talak there, and the, so Daraba now cannot be talak. So you have to use your mind as well. So I know that Daraba means many other events like walking around or doing some work. You are mm -hmm. uh, you you are striking the ground on uh, ground. So like you're driving the car, Allah gives, gives darabal misal. I know there are many shades of words, but where the wife is mentioned, you, there is no other word except strike. And what about, I mean, if you don't have a tafs, if you're not bringing tafsir into the discussion or hadith, how would you know that this is what it means? Is it revelation if that you've gotten? If you have gotten? contradiction, mm. you were here in the whole time. Show me any countries I spoke. But, but there, there are contradictions in yeah, different, me, nah. and different, no, no, what uh, I speak. different translations. No, no, forget about translation. I just now speak in front of you so many things. Can you show me any contradiction? Contradiction to what? Yeah, that I was there. that was particular there. verse. You, I, I'm not a master of the Arabic language. No, no, I'm, I'm not talking about Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. I, there's so many verses in English language. Yeah, that's the thing. Is that, I mean, there's 150 translations. No, no, I'm asking yeah. you, did you find any contradiction? Does oh, contradiction. Sound, does it sound logical that the Allah gave every prophet a book? No, but I'm just trying to figure no, out. I'm trying to make a point. And that point is, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, like, how is that supposed to, still with all that in mind and all that I've studied and all that I've been reading and trying to be a good person, how does... How can you be good when you're believing that Bible has got uh, changed the, the Tariq book and there's the word of God? How can you believe it when you, be, you associate Bible, you're doing shirk? You associate Hadith, you're doing shirk. Shirk is been association words with God. God's book is a separate book. You want to be a good Muslim, you have to find out how God says in the Quran, and if Bible is the Quran is the of also from God, then there must be no contradiction. Nah? There are many contradictions in the Bible. Five thousand errors in the Bible. There are many errors in the Bible. You know that I don't have to explain to you. But what I'm trying to explain is that Abraham, first book of Genesis, Abraham married his sister. Will you marry your sister? No. <laughs> but you believe Abraham married. Lord have sex with his daughters. Will you do? You will say no. But you will not do it, but Lord had it. So you are, you are, you are, you are, how can it be a word of God blaming uh, prophets as doing something wrong? And we, we believe. We don't believe basically. Nobody believes. You don't believe. If any Christian tell me I can have sex with my daughters, believe me because of the Bible, you will call him a crackpot. No, it so, is in the Bible. I agree with you. I'm not so, going to why, why do they, why the Christian don't do it? You will go against the Bible. <laughs> you see, the problem is the good things are only written in the Quran. Agreed. Yeah. So if you if you want to be a good Muslim, you correct everything. It's not that something you correct, mm -hmm. because if you believe you means I I was also believing in Hadith. Same problem with the Muslim, but they follow Hadith. And Muslim Christian Muslims when they become Muslim or Jew Muslim become a Muslim, they bring the biblical tradition to the Quran. So this again the same doing the wrong thing which Muslim Hadith they are bringing the Hadith into Quran. You can't understand Quran until you know you Hadith. You can't understand Quran until you know Bible. Quran is an explanation in its own ayahs by its own ayahs. You don't have to bring anything to the Quran to understand the Quran. Believe me. I, I, I'm there. I've delivered 50 talks. Nobody comes and I'm ready to dialogue. I'm ready to discuss everything I'm ready to do with anybody in the world. But the problem is that people don't know. Believe me. They, what they have programmed into a something, I just now showed 18 prophets got the book. I showed Ma'anuzil ala Muhammad. Everything. But it is the belief is, is there the Quran was given to Muhammad. You know Quran has come in the Quran 66 times. And it's not come with Muhammad. Torah was not come with, with, with uh, Moses. And you know what Jesus is? You showed it to this sister. Allah will teach Jesus the knowledge of the book. The, 
Allah will teach him the knowledge of the wisdom. What <laughs> Tawrat energy for? I'm sorry, brother. I really do have an appointment. I'm not making it up. Okay. Um, but I, I just want to thank you for your talk. And I have no hard feelings for you. No, 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 no. We're all trying to we're yeah. all trying to make it same, better here same, in this same, uh, same. this island that we live on here yeah. in America. So yeah, it's all right. Allah make it easy on all of us, no inshallah. Yes, all right. Alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you. Yeah, here there are many ladies who. Yeah, she she wants to talk. Oh, you. It's her turn first. Yeah. Okay.